something else I always talk about with me that is the need for a career plan. I have other videos on the channel about plotting a dance career. So and dancers need to have that. At the beginning, they have to be aware of what options are possibly available for them. So they know how to either plot a path within or through and then go out at whatever point they want to. But arming yourself with that kind of information, with a plan, makes it easy for you to set goals with your people. I had a dancer who had an agreement with her dad. She can do the dancing, she can travel, she can do the rehearsal on the condition that she accepts a civil service job after graduation. So the deal was that she should find a way to do both the jobs <laughs> and then she can dance anywhere she wants to dance. And she made it work. She still dances to today though. She still dances to today. She still has shows. She still has classes. So you know your people. Create a plan, let them know. There's somebody else I know whose plan is that at the end of the day, she wants her own studio. She's a lot younger. So she has told them that to be able to get to a point where she's running her own dance business, she has to train, so so and so, and so you understand? So when there is a plan, you come off, it's clear that you have where you are going, especially if you're from a, a family with means, who understands plans, and even when you're from a family that isn't that doesn't have means, they see that there is there is a goal. You have you have a way to to get ahead, even with your limited resources. So put together a plan, share the plan with them. But because like I said, the plan there are different aspects, different things in that, which some of you may never really know about unless you actually get involved. So as you get consent to get involved, or however you get involved. It makes sense that the first thing you do as you start working within the community is to find out what the options are and then put together a workable plan and share this plan with your people so that even when you drift off they can say hey how far this was not the plan and then if you want to defend your drifting you defend it and if you really need to go back to the original plan you get to go back to the original plan so share your plan the plan with your people it's easier to get them involved in that there's something somewhere you are going. Make sure they are aware of progress. Now, when people work with me, people who dancers who work with me, like I said, I have those who have prayers and concerns. In fact, for the past four or five years, I make sure anybody staying with somebody, if you're living with an aunt or an uncle, or a parent, I mean, you're under somebody's um, control. Or you take a parental consent from home and get permission to be in the studio. Because I, there have been stories which I'll probably address in another video. But I've realized that the people who had issues with getting parental consent have it easier when their people come for a show that they get to perform in. So, no matter how maybe one parent is in support, the other parent isn't in support and then we now have a project we are working on like telling you guys these are tickets, get your people to attend. Sometimes they are shy, but those who actually come, in fact, some, most of the time when they say, ah, daddy, there's a show I'd like you to attend, it's a dance show. They don't necessarily have to say, I am dancing, but they say it's a dance show, uh, I'd like you to come, or mommy, my people we are doing something I like you to come most of the time they come they arrive there with pride they get their table they sit down <laughs> and then after the show it's easier because it's one thing when they sit and then they see you do what you do and they see you do it well and then when you are done the audience stands up to clap and you say yeah that's my daughter yeah that's my son that 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 moment of pride it does wonder so they should be they should, they should be involved in progress when you move from being in the chorus or being at the back to pointing they should be able to see their approach when you start actually teaching classes that's for those who who veer into dance instruction when you start actually teaching classes they should know that you started getting paid to do this dance thing that you were paying for eventually when you start getting shows and dance jobs 
I've already said try not to do anything that will make them embarrassed so you can because you know there's a lot we do within the arts that the average um african parents is not very comfortable with so while you are under their care i recommend you tread carefully make the right choices <laughs> but when you get them in the home when they see you move from where the last time they saw you you're on a different level from the first time they saw you get things like that get them involved in your progress when you start getting paid i keep saying take some money buy them something contribute to the house there's a particular dancer we had a job it was 2014 and he said that when we paid them for that job that he got home that day he didn't say anything they had already been very angry with the number of rehearsals he was doing so he got home that day and then he went around and confirmed the things the mom was supposed to buy that weekend and then he now went shopping for tissue paper so not, not food things just basic general things that they usually buy for the house and then he bought top notch quality not the one they used to you know pinch around with and then he brought it home that evening and gave the mom and then the mom cried it and went and told it that the father called him and he started stealing. And he said, No, that he got paid some money and that he knows if he gave the father the money, the father won't collect. So he said, Let him also help and do things at home. <laughs> he said that the next weekend, Saturday, the father asked him, Ah, you're not going for years out today. <laughs> so let them see progress, let them see results, which also means that you have to make sure that you are getting results and wherever you're dancing however you're dancing there should be progress there should be results and you share that progress and results with them dance is growing in nigeria and there's a lot of discussions of what we can and cannot do what we should or should not do and unlike the past 10 years Right now, to dance involves a lot of money. You have to spend money on classes and then also spend money on trips or shows. So there's money coming in and going out within the industry. Yes, there's money involved. So for those of you who are getting involved, it's important that you align in a way that it does not embarrass you or your people. Because as I said at the beginning, there are some horror stories. And those horror stories are a problem within the dance industry. So you have to choose right. You have to select your affiliations in a way that it's responsible. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So if you are thinking of dancing, like I said at the beginning, this video is mostly about people who want to dance. If you're thinking about dance, I would recommend that you find an organization. There is this frown currently on people dancing on the road randomly. Yes. So most dance organizations or dance bodies are trying are organizing themselves in a way that you who wants to join us will be proud. There are several in every state, in almost every community. There is a studio, there is a company, there's a theater troupe that is taking or training or performing and get people involved in different ways, management, coaching, there are different things going on, productions, projects, community projects, different ways you can get involved. So I recommend you don't just wake up and start dancing. Many mistakes are made that way. I recommend you find somebody and work with. You find a group or a team and work with. So that when your people are looking for how to reach you or they're gauging what you're in they see that you're somebody's responsible for you and even if they can't trust your level of responsibility totally at least they may be willing to trust the responsibility of the person in charge that you submit to so i do hope you dance and if you're already dancing i do hope you find a way to backtrace and make this work because like i said most of the time the most effective people are people who have support but that doesn't mean 
you are right enough those of you who do not have support we are rooting for you and we are hoping that as we go on there will be ways to make yours and your endeavor easier so if you have comments please put them below if you have questions still put them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe i will be doing another video for parents who have children who want to dance and how to handle them and how to get involved so that the horror stories we hear about do not come to pass with them i give my mama everywhere yes so i as a give my will be putting up information on ways you can push your creativity plan your dance activity and develop yourself within the arts in even if you are in a small city in nigeria thank you